What is going on YouTube? Justin here, aka Goofy Skating Lifestyle. Today, I'm going to be out in my backyard doing some more maintenance. We're not going to be mowing this time, but I'm going to be bringing you guys along. We're going to be doing some mulching. So, I got about eight to nine bags of brown, brown uh, colored mulch. I want to move some things first. So, we're going to move all of these pavers and the bagging mix, the raised bed mix, all the way back in here, just behind the air conditioning unit. So that is out of the way. Nothing else much to move other than that. That is all we're gonna have to move. I won't really need to move any of this stuff around on the table or anything, cause it's not in the way. I should be able to get back there just fine. We'll probably have to get more bags another day, but this will be hopefully the only video for this. And uh, I'm gonna put you guys on the head mount, bring the pavers back into the corner first. And uh, yeah, nothing left to say, but let's get started and enjoy the video. Let's get started by, of course, bringing these back into that corner. Put them back in there. I'm gonna do some squeezing. I'm about to do it. There's one we've got, let's see, got a lot more to go, so I'm going to time lapse this part so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing and uh, enjoy the time lapse. As you all saw in the time lapse, now it is time to dump a bag of mulch into the wheelbarrow and then I'll probably dump the rust out into like, the, you know, the beds and then once I get them all into the beds in a spot where I can spread it out, I've got the uh, pitchfork, wherever that is at right here, I've got the pitchfork and I'll uh, spread that around with you guys on camera and just so if no one knows how to do it you can watch me do it and you'll be able to mulch your backyard or front yard or whatever you want to mulch um, nothing else to say but let's get started when you're working outside or doing any activities with a form of exercise or just laying around be sure to stay hydrated. I've always got water or Gatorade or something on me to stay hydrated since I'm always active skateboarding and doing stuff like this and even driving. I enjoy drinking water. Staying well hydrated and healthy. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So. First thing I'm gonna do before I time lapse the rest of it is show you guys what I'm gonna do and explain why I'm gonna put one black bag of mulch in the wheelbarrow and then I'll dump one out and spread it with you guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna start by this spot over here where the air conditioning is. You always wanna pluck the weeds, make sure all of the weeds are out of the bed there's nothing big debris like leaves like this and whatnot. Make sure to remove as much as those or all of those if you can. And then throw them to the side or whatever, toss them in the trash when you're done or wherever you can properly and safely dispose of those. I mean, weeds are weeds, so it doesn't really matter. Go back in the woods, whatever. Just be aware if you have an HOA like I do, they'll bust your ass for it. But, um, and grab a bag of mulch. I buy broken bags because they're cheaper. You can get them on discount usually at your local garden centers and or 
hardware stores that sell mulch like this. Uh, I usually get two cubic foot bags. This is at my parents' house. I usually do it with my dad, but my dad's working today. And I figured I enjoy doing this sometimes, so I might as well do it while he's not here and make a video out of it. So the reason why I put one bag of mulch in this is so when I start spreading out the mulch, if I make a mistake or whatever, because you want it about a half inch to an inch thick, I usually spread it pretty light, so I do about a half inch to an inch, just because money is, uh, it's expensive to do this, so we try and cut costs down by not doing it a whole lot. I'm probably not going to spread any back here. Um, I don't think he really wants it back here all the way. We just want it to be from here and all the way down around all the other beds. So I'm going to start opening this bag up as well. You could just do it out of the wheelbarrow, but I like to do it this way. It's so much easier, so much more uh, room for air, if that makes sense. So if you mess up or whatever, you probably use probably use about a full bag right here and add more if we need to through the wheelbarrow so the reason why you want to use a pitchfork you don't really need to but it is recommended we put all the trash here the reason why I use a pitchfork I can't remember where I put the other one oh right there so the reason why I like to use the pitchfork or well my dad likes to use it and he taught me how to use it is because when you're doing it at someone else's house or whatever, putting your hands all over the mulch doesn't really make it that neat. So he showed me the way that he does it. I don't like doing it this way. You don't need to use the pitchfork, but it is my parents' house and they requested me to use the pitchfork. So only because of that reason, I will be using the pitchfork. Um, though it is not really necessary, I guess if you're doing it professionally for some homeowner's house or something, like if you work at a garden center for example or something, you probably would want to use the pitchfork. Um, but um, yeah, this is how I do it. Just be sure not to dig it too far down. Just graze it across it. So it gets it like that because then if you don't graze it across it you get the old mulch mixed in with it and you don't want the old mulch mixed in and that's where the um say like that that's where your uh real barrel of mulch comes in handy for that reason um so that's where i'm gonna bring this over here move this inside And then once I finish this spot with you guys, I will uh, time lapse it and whatnot. I think it's less long. It's good enough. There. That's about there. Try not to get it too much in the grass. You do not want to put a lot of mulch in the grass. Try and keep it off the patio a little bit. You can brush it off the patio though. It might stain a bit. You can get it with your hands too, like I said. My dad really doesn't want me to, but I'm going to a little bit here anyway. Um, without further ado, let's start time-lapsing and uh, enjoy the rest of the video.
needed another one. through this side of the bed this whole bed is finished it looks really good I decided to just put it in the wheelbarrow like you saw and not use this um, my dad's lucky I'm even doing this anyway but uh, be sure to always be grateful that if you have parents and if you can help them out a little bit, it'll probably mean the world to them a little bit, and then they'd be able to help you out do other things that you wanted to do. Um, I think sometimes family uh, means you need to help them out a little bit, and uh, nothing's perfect, so it is what it is. That side is complete. We're gonna start to do this side. They'll only have basically two and a half bags left, a two cubic, uh, two cubic foot or whatever, two cubic inch, and uh, yeah, two cubic foot, yeah, two cubic foot, I said two cubic foot, and then uh, I'll probably have to make a run to the garden center, my parents work at, and uh, get like two to three more bags, but other than that, I think we're good. Alright guys, I'm warming up the truck. I'm about to go grab four more bags. I'll put you guys on uh, time lapse right on the dashboard probably. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. I don't have much charge left on my GoPro, so I'll just do the head mount to the location I gotta go. And then uh, I'll see you guys back at my place, which is my parents' house. And we'll uh, charge her up for you guys and then once she's charged I'll go back to mulching it might be tomorrow but we'll see we got a full week ahead of us full of adventures might be doing more vlogs more often than not we'll see how things go but uh, yeah this is gonna be a fun trip I got about 10 minutes left thankfully they're not terribly far from the house but uh, yeah, we're on US Route 15 right now on the way to uh, 66 East toward Washington. And then I uh, have my mama rig me up and then we're good to go. So, I'm, I'm gonna fast forward this starting about now. But I uh, figured I'd give you guys some POV driving action. And uh, enjoy the day. It's just gonna be a little bouncy. I believe for the head cam. I need to get a better camera and a mic. But for right now, the uh, GoPro will do. Alright, so I was thinking about mounting the head mount, like I said for you guys, the time lapse on the dash. That, unfortunately, was not the case. It did not work. But, I got the uh, ticket for the uh, mulch bag, so I'm going to go over to the loading dock. They're going to load it up for me. And then, uh, once they load it up and everything, I'll see you guys back at home. i got to charge this thing. It's at 10%. All right guys, so I am also in the middle in between of uploading the truck's new video. I got a new maintenance replacement part to do. So I'm doing that right now through my phone and that will be edited on my phone. But until then, 
I'm going to take a big long break for the rest of the day. I've got the four bags of mulch in the back of the truck bed still. I'm gonna bring them in through the back to the back either tonight or tomorrow and I will finish up the mulching tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it's been about two days since I've been doing the mulch. It's been raining the past uh, two days or so, and I've been busy doing other stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start by finishing the other side up today. And then, uh, yeah, dive back into it. Look at all that water in the wheelbarrow. It's like, it's like three inches of rain. Hey, yeah, it was coming down. We had some hail, too. getting tired of the POV cam so I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod in time lapse probably set you guys I'm gonna set you guys closer to me over there and then once I get to over here I'll set you guys on exactly like this enjoy I've got one bag left and I don't need to use it. We finished the job. It looks decent. It's not the prettiest, but it looks good enough for it being at my parents' backyard. Make as you can see here. Walk around to this side. Obviously, I only used the pitchfork on that pile right there. The rest I spread it with my hands. I have to brush off the patio with the brim a little bit. I'm gonna do that off camera. That is it for the video today. I hope you guys are liking the mowing and landscaping videos just as much as I do. Also with the rest of the videos, if you haven't checked those out or vice versa, check out whichever ones you wanna check out. I'm gonna keep making videos here on out as always. And uh, until the next video, please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.